Yes, I'm wearing an entire winter coat to film this video because it's 50 degrees outside. My thermostat only goes to 73 and I'm gonna die. It's so cold. This is just gonna be my current mood for the next four months. <laughs> so I just saw Joss from Schools Reads post a video where she talked about the books she wants to read before the end of the year. And I sat back, sat and looked at my shelf, sat back again, and I was like, I also have some books I would like to read before the end of the year. So I have compiled a list, more like a stack. And these are all things that I've either had for a while or they're new releases that I just, I see them on my shelf and I go, I want to read that. Which is pretty much every book on my shelf if you think about it, but these in particular, I was like, yeah. So I'm gonna discuss them in no particular order. These are a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Well, I mean, we have two months left of the year. Two, there's only one month left. There's December. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna read all these books. I think it's still October for some reason. But here are things, even going into next year, that these are probably the things I'm gonna bring home for me, with me on uh, winter break. The first book is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. Why is my face so red? I got the anxiety acne. <laughs> I've heard pretty good things about this book, but then as soon as I got it and I posted it on Snapchat, so many people were like, this book is amazing. Apparently it talks a lot about mental illness and it puts it in like a humorous light, not like making fun of mental illness, but just discussing it in a lighthearted, unproblematic way, which is basically how I deal with everything in my life. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. Definitely something I'm looking forward to now that everyone under the sun has told me it's something that I should be excited about. Don't roast me. I got tower done. <laughs> I don't even like Throne of Glass that much. It's just, and I wasn't even planning on reading this one, but after Empire of Storms was so bad, I was like, where's Kale? We need someone who's unproblematic. With the Throne of Glass series, I just skip the chapters of all the people I don't care about. Elite who? Lorcan who? Manon who? So I'm pretty sure I'm probably only gonna be reading like 50 pages of this. I've heard it's bad rep. I haven't read any of the reviews yet because I haven't. <laughs> My deal is like, I don't care about the series anymore but i'm six books into it so i gotta finish it you know so and i got the one with pictures in it who even i don't even know who any of these people are is that manon she's ugh. can't stand manon but it's fine next book i would want to reread soon is unravel me by tahana Murphy. all these sticky tabs are from the last time i reread re it and i marked all the things i'd forgotten about which was quite a few things. I've been rereading my paperback copies. I just did this one last month and I've been annotating them. So I know you're unsubscribing. You're saying, how could you write in your book? These are gonna be special to me one day. It's already special to me, but I wanna have an edition that I have marked up. So this is gonna be the next thing I do. Um, I'm enjoying it. I don't know why I'm rereading them so soon because Restore Me doesn't come out until March. Stay tuned for that reread-a-thon. The next thing I really need to read, I don't know why I haven't read it yet, is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is on a ton of end of year best books of 2017 lists and like the Goodreads Choice Awards. This is featured there. So hopefully I can read it before any of those are finalized and I can, I can I've already voted for it, but hopefully I'll be able to actually vote for it if it's good. The next book is a new release. I can't believe I haven't read it already. Uh, John Green's new book. I talked about this a little bit in my last vlog, but it's just so weird that there's another, I'm like, the John Green? I am eager to read this one. I just realized I haven't done synopses for any of these books. I'm a great booktuber. I really do love his writing, but I don't think I've reread any of his writing since I was like 17, so. I've heard this is like a four star book. I'm looking forward to it. It's about a girl with OCD. I can't relate to the OCD, but I can relate to that hypochondriac anxiety lifestyle. So maybe the mental health rep will be will, will be shocking and relatable. If not, it's John Green. He makes me think. Next, Dylan, Hold On To Your Pants, We Are The Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. I was so hesitant to read this because my friend Dylan like harasses people on Twitter that they need to read this book. It's so good. It's realistic fiction, but it has sci-fi elements put into it. I don't like, YA contemporary and I don't like YA sci-fi so I was like why did I do this to myself but then the other day I picked it up and I started reading the first chapter and I was like it's pretty good she thick but it's fine next is the sun's also a star by Nicole Yoon I have this one on audiobook and it's only like eight hours long is the font huge yep that's why 
The, they made this a tall hardback, but they made the font like size 15. This is a YA contemporary once again, but it's once again, once again? Once again. It's about a Jamaican girl, I think. It's about social issues, deportation. I'm hoping that because it's meaningful, it won't come off as cliche. Again, it's a super short audiobook. I'll probably read that in like four hours and double speeding it while doing some Sudoku. <laughs> The rest of these I also have access to an audiobook, so I may read them or listen to them. Let me know if you had a preferred method, if you've read or listened to these. And the Savage Song, Victoria Schwab, everyone says it's amazing. It's about monsters. I don't know. <laughs> I read everything else by V.E. Schwab at this point. Just recently read her Darkest Shade of Magic series this year. It was so good. This is the last thing I have to read by her, and I'm just, I'm eager. Her, her writing is super cool. This one's YA, and her other one I read this year was adult, so... I'm sure it'll be fine, but again, my reluctance to read YA. I hope by talking about that, it doesn't come off like I'm too good for YA. It's me, it's not the books. I'm not better than YA, it's I want variety. <laughs> my hair looks like a grease ball today. I had something else to say, but I forgot it. So let's move on. The next book I want to read, I think this is gonna be an easy one because I can split it up and come back to it when I want, but I have the Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy, Cassandra Clare and these other women and whoever Robin Wasserman is. This is a series of 10 short stories that go along with the Shadowhunter world. I did not know you were supposed to read this before Lady Midnight because there are some Lady Midnight spoilers that happen that involve stuff in this book. And I never would have even thought to pick this book up until that happened in Lady Midnight. So if you want to read Lady Midnight, you gotta read this unless you want to be spoiled for like a little bitty thing, but still. I think this follows Simon in the original TMI characters. So is Magnus in it? because that would make me happy. I have the Bane Chronicles that I haven't read and I'm sitting here like, does this one have Magnus in it? The final book that I want, oh, sorry, these are in frame. That's gonna be real annoying later in editing. <laughs> the last book that I want to get to, I already read, <laughs> I read page one. I really wanna read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Side note, I do not stand Harry Potter. Harry Potter's good. I'm not like super attached to it that if I hated this, it would ruin my life. So I'm just kind of here to, witness it and be like is it good is it not i mostly hear from people that they do not like it and people do not consider it canon i've heard other people say they don't have a problem with it at all i'd be willing to see where i fit in because it seems to be a, a very polarized split and with those out of the way i wanted to thank you all for watching this video i know it's few and far in between honestly i know you're probably like ew she's filming on her phone she looks gross her face is red you're probably not saying that <laughs> but i'm more motivated to do videos when i do it like this just like vlog style set up my phone on a stack of books and just talk i don't want to have to do the whole put makeup on do a production um yada 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 I'm trying to think of anything of of timeliness that i should mention but i think that's that's about it uh i don't know when i'll post this but Assuming Thanksgiving is coming up or has already passed, happy Thanksgiving. It's been so long, I don't know how to end this video. I'm just kind of like, have you clicked away yet? <laughs> okay, see you later, everyone.